Okay, so it is Ask Tina Morgan. Oh, I don't need my glasses today. Um, what do you do when you have a mental block and get too much into your head? We've all been there, right? And this is from Shay. Okay, so Shay, we've all been there. And one of the things that you can be aware of when you find yourself in your head, you can check inside and you probably find yourself in some state of worry and angst. You're trying to figure things out. You're trying to oh, control and make sure that, and you can fill in the blank, things, you know, go off smoothly or things, you know, don't overwhelm you or scare you or whatever. Being aware of that lets you take a deep breath and realize that there's a part of you that feels like the entire circumstances, the moment that you're in, you're in all alone and you're trying to manage it and control it, the first thing to know is that you're never alone. This universe that we live in, it responds to us. It is listening. As uh, practice number one of the inner fitness practices says, there's a force greater than you that loves you, cares for you, and responds to your heart. So develop the mindset that you are never alone, that something is listening, and that by asking for assistance, asking for direction, asking for um, your way of guidance and how to uh, manage the overwhelm or whatever you're going through, that lets you center down a little and know that it's not all on your shoulders. And then the next thing is, is that you literally can take your hands, you know, put them up by your head and bring the energy down. Take a deep breath. And just see yourself bringing that energy down out of your head into your body and just push it all the way down into the ground so that it's not caught up here. And then another thing that you can do actually is set an intention for what you want. When we get caught in our heads, we're caught in the problems. We're caught in the loop of what's not working or what's wrong or what needs to be fixed or whatever. Stop. Take that deep breath, bring the energy down, and then set your vision. What do you want? Instead of managing the problem, what do you want? And when that is clear, you set an intention for that. And then you can always go to your journal and write. I set the intention for, or I ask and desire, and then write out what your vision is. Those three things can help you get out of your head, get out of that stuck state, and into vision and possibility. Thank you for asking.